coffee this morning. <laughs> Good morning. So plot twist, I'm not making my own coffee this morning. Let me fill you in on the plan, but first things first, I hope you're having a lovely start or end to your day, whatever time of day it is you're watching this. It's a Saturday here. I thought I'd just take you along for the day with Ant and I as we have a pretty slow paced weekend. The lovely summery weather that I've been talking to you guys about in the previous few vlogs that's over and now we're in a period of lots of rain it looks like we've pretty much got two weeks of solid rain with some cloud and some tiny bits of sun for the next couple of weeks before i jump into what we're doing today i did have some peanut butter and jam on toast this morning i put a little clip in here and made me some it was delicious and nutritious and i thoroughly enjoyed it and now our plan for today the weatherman tells us that it's going to be sunny until lunchtime and then it's going to be rain all afternoon so we're gonna get out this morning i've got my clothes and i've got my running kit on actually because what we're gonna do is walk via a coffee shop pick up a coffee i let myself have one takeaway coffee a week at the moment guys i know it's not very sustainable because it's in single use plastic but it feels like my once a week treat because they won't take reusable cups at the moment which is just an absolute nightmare um so it's just a nice little treat to have somebody else make a coffee for you you know Anyway, so we're going to pick up a coffee, then walk up to the park, do a nice big loop of the park, and then I'm actually going to run home. That's why I'm wearing my running kit, and Ant is going to walk home. So yeah, let's get Ant and let's get going. Good morning, team. Good morning. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, good. You doing the splits? I am doing the splits. Somebody said, babe, my legs can't handle this. Save me. Bye. Save me. I'm holding my phone, aren't I? Anthony. <laughs> Oh, you're in your ninja outfit. I'm in my ninja outfit, so I'm gonna go for a run, aren't I? Oh yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. What are you gonna get from the coffee shop, babe? Coffee and bread. Great choices. Yeah. You? What are you gonna get? A dirty chai with oat milk. Okay. Because I'm a basic Beautiful blue skies, and it's time for us to get out and enjoy them. <laughs> It was blooming Baltic. It was so cold. That was the first reason. I just wasn't feeling it because the weather. Second reason, I realised that I just want to have a rest day. So I didn't fancy doing my run. I just didn't do my run. So I'm just going to have a rest day. I'm actually going to set aside some time now before we make some smoothies to do a cheeky little stretch. I feel like my body needs it because I've had quite an intense week of training this week. So yeah, I'm going to roll out my mat and stretch out my bod. How was your walk? It was good. It was windy and it was pretty cold. It was a little bit. But no rain, which is good. Wasn't yeah, it? it's probably like 13 degrees outside, but there's a lot of wind. A so lot of wind. The wind chill factor makes it feel like it's minus eight. Yeah, pretty much. So that happened, but I'm glad we went for a nice walk. Yeah. We've got some outdoor space before the grey clouds have just started to come in. Yeah. So we've just missed that. That's good. Good timing. So I went to Eminence on the way home to pick up some British strawberries and raspberries. Now, what did you really go to pick up, babe? Some strawberries and raspberries. Some M&S vegan chicken Kievs. Yeah, I got three packs. It's, this to last us for, you know, a good couple of days. Did you actually get three packs? Yeah, there's a few, there's more than one. Oh my God, he's actually addicted. Sure, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting so. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what's about to happen. We come back from the park and he cleans my feet, don't you, babe? Yeah, this is the decontamination process. See. So look, look at this, look at this. Okay, there's dirt. Oh, look at all that that came out my sock. Does that, how does that I make mean, you feel? This is a potential biohazard. <laughs> this is why it's important. So next step, run the water. Tepid. Nice little scrubber dub. 
Now we lathers the foot. In between the toes. Oh, that's a bit that makes me giggle. Little rinse, thank you. <laughs> Guys, this is an insight into what it's like to live with this man. Normal people. No, you're crazy. <laughs> but I love you for it. My, this is my section because I specialize in hummus and pita bread. Oh yeah. And that's what we're having. It's your section of the vlog or it's a section of life? It's a section of, of life. <laughs> section of life that is specifically Anthony Moles. So yeah, we're gonna have some hummus and pita. That's yours. Oh, why this one? Because it's not as, as well done. Oh, great. Mine's more al dente. Thank you. And yours is more soft because you've got soft teeth. What? Hummus and pita, guys. Every damn day. Hi, I'm Zana, and I'm addicted to Depop. This jumper is yet another one that I've bought off Depop secondhand. It's like a reworked vintage Nike jumper, and I am obsessed. Anyway, let's make a smoothie now. Post hummus smoothie. What are you saying? Yeah. I'm gonna do like a blueberry pie smoothie, so like banana, blueberries, cinnamon, that sort of vibe. So frozen banana, frozen blueberries. A little bit of frozen spinach. And then for protein today, I'm gonna to use this, which is the Vivo Life Perform Protein in Acai Blueberry. You guys know that I'm an ambassador for Vivo Life. So this portion of the video is sponsored. I just want to let you know that I'm a huge supporter of their products. They're vegan, carbon neutral, organic, all produced in the UK. And I just think they're amazing. So yes, I'm gonna use this protein powder today. I'll leave a little link down below with the discount code. A Brazil nut for selenium and then some oat milk. Shake it up and blend. I thought it was gonna be purple, but it's turned out kind of gray, but that'll do. Just realized I forgot to put cinnamon in the smoothie, but it still tastes great, so we're just gonna roll with it. Anyway, I'm gonna to top it with some of my granola. You guys know my granola is the bomb, if I do say so myself. Vegan, high protein, salted caramel, peanut butter flavor. So I'm just gonna put that on top, and of course it has these amazing huge chunks. So gonna smother it in my granola. I think that will do for my lunch today. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Okay guys, so just for a bit of variety, I thought I would show you what I put in my smoothie. So, step one is to put in some oat milk. It's good to get the oat milk in there first rather than the protein powder, because otherwise the protein powder sticks to the bottom of the, of the vessel. Step two is to put the protein powder in. And now I'm not sponsored by Vivo Life, but I tend to use their product. So there's no measuring cup here, so I'm just gonna go for two tablespoons of Brazil nut, because Zana told me I need one Brazil nut every day. One frozen banana, really ripe frozen banana. Some blueberries, and then some oats. So I quite like quite a lot of oats. So basically you wanna fill it up with oats, but just leave a little bit of room at the top for some agave, but more importantly, some peanut butter. A bit more oat milk, just so it all mixes together nicely. <laughs> Babe, made a smoothie. Mm. Taste test. Am I allowed to taste it? Yeah, just. He right. never usually allows me to taste his smoothies. That's it. That is dense. That is heavy. Is it? Mm. Mm. I mean, it's really tasty, but that is heavy. You're going to go to a food coma. Signing off. See you later. I'm back at it again. I'm scrapbooking. This is my 2019 scrapbook. So that means I have done backpacking 2014, 2015, 16, 17, 18. This is my seventh scrapbook that I have done in lockdown. Wow. So I did about two thirds of it yesterday. This was a big year for me. It was the year that I had my bowel surgery when I almost died. Um, so there's lots of stuff to put in about that. And now I'm onto the last third of it and that's gonna be all of my travels for 2019. So let's get scrapbooking. Now on this boat and we all know where we belong just And that's the first page 
update of my travels done, about a little weekend away to Madrid with my friend Vic. And now I need to do all the rest of my scrapbook. So I'll check in with you when I've finished. <laughs> so I'm over here scrapbooking on the floor and this guy has got an elastic band around his head. What are you doing? Uh, cutting my hair. Cutting his hair. <laughs> So he has one mirror in front of him, he has one mirror behind him, he has an elastic band on his head, and that's what's happening. Are you confident about your abilities? Uh, I've done it once before and it turned out alright, but I've, it might have been beginner's luck. Alright, good luck babe, we'll see you at the end. Okay. See you on the other side. <laughs> so, I finished cutting my hair, and the fade is really difficult to do. So, you can still see a little step. Which I'm not happy about, babe. What do you think? I'm impressed. I think it actually looks really sharp. Yeah? Yeah, so do you do it yourself? Let's see what it looks like at the back. Okay. I'm sure everyone really wants to know what it looks like at the back. All right, turn a little bit away from the window. Away from the window of the way. There we go. That's what it looks like. So how's the scrapbooking going? It's going really well. I'm probably 40 minutes away from completely finishing my 2019 scrapbook. We're in Patagonia. Means, yeah, we're just working through the Patagonia photos. And I'm really excited because I'm just looking forward to having finished a task which I started six years ago. And now I'm finally finishing it. Yeah. And I'm just feeling really chuffed with myself for finally getting it done. So also, you do. Yeah, and having something to look back on, babe. We can look back on these when we're old. Nice. And look at how cute we were. Well, I'm Patagonia. not getting old, but you can. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get real old, okay. so. <laughs> yeah. All right, I need to keep going, so. Okay, she's gonna keep going. So we'll check in with you when we make some dinner. Yeah, what time is it now? Mm, 5 p.m. Okay, make dinner in about an hour? Yeah. Yeah, we'll check in with you then. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try and finish this by then. Okay, one hour. That's the goal. Go, go, go. 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 Guys, I've officially finished my seventh scrapbook. I cannot believe it. I started this project at the very start of lockdown and now I'm up to date with scrapbooks from literally six and a half years ago. So I'm buzzing about it. I will leave a link down below in the description box to this big A2, A3, A whatever size scrapbook this is that I have. I will leave a link down below to it because I always get questions about it when I put my scrapbooks on my Instagram stories. So I'll pop a link for this in the description box. Also, before I go and cook my lunch, I just want to talk about something a little bit more serious and recommend some books to you guys that I have ordered recently. The week that I'm filming this vlog is the week that there has been a massive increase in the discussion around Black Lives Matter on social media and I have been trying to consciously educate myself and immerse myself in this conversation and, and learn as much as I can and just kickstart my journey to being an active anti-racist. This is going to be a lifelong journey. This is something which I need to spend the rest of my days trying to do, trying to become better at and it's something which I'm ashamed to say I was very ignorant about literally just a week ago so I have a long way to go and I thought I'd share with you a few of the books that I have ordered to help myself along on that journey. The first one is Me and White Supremacy. I have almost finished this one. I started this one towards the start of this week and this is not an easy read. This is not a bedtime read. This is a workbook and it has journaling prompts so you have to kind of work through it and do the journaling prompts as you go along. And if you really throw yourself into it and properly self-reflect, this is an absolutely incredible, eye-opening and perspective-shifting book, if there ever was one. So I'll definitely leave this linked down below and I recommend you go and check it out. This is probably my number one recommendation. And then I did order a lot of books. Basically, I just realized that I don't really know much at all and I just want to learn everything. And then I had the realization that I don't read that quickly. So it's going to take me a long time to get through them all, but I am going to get through them. There's a few more still to arrive, which include white fragility and why I'm no longer to talk, why I'm no longer talking to white people about race. Those two still need to arrive, but these are the ones that were already here. I will leave some links down the description box to these books. And I will also leave some links to some reading links lists and some further lists of anti-racist books for you guys to go and check out. I'd highly recommend you do so. This is going to be something which I'm going to be reading and learning about for, as I said, the rest of my days. And um, 
And yeah, I have a long way to go. I have a lot to learn, but I just want to be a better human. I want to be a better person. I want to be better at this. I want to be better at being anti-racist. So yeah, definitely head down to the description box, have a little browse of the reading lists of the books that I've linked. I would love for you guys to join me on this journey of learning, educating, growing, and becoming better. And now let's go make some dinner. And these are finished bowls of pasta topped with herby mushrooms, tomatoes, meatballs and pumpkin seeds. Looks delicious. I gave Ant the option of fajitas or pasta and you chose pasta. Is it good? Mmm. Yummy. Mm. Thanks babe. You're welcome. So we have had dinner and washed up and now we have dessert. Is that right? That is absolutely That's correct, spot on. Anthony Moore. And what have you well for dessert? Done. So we have big bowls of berries, and these are British berries, guys. Aren't they so sweet right now? They are really good. Like literally Delicious. amazing. We have a mix of raspberries and strawberries. We went to Waitos the other day, and raspberries had just come in to season. British ones, first time seeing them this year, and they are so mm. good. So we've got a big bowl of strawberries and raspberries. Obviously, you guys know I've got my big blue mug full of tea because I'm a creature of habit. And tonight we are watching a programme called... 13th. 13th. So there's been lots of resources going around online suggesting Netflix series to watch to educate yourself on anti-racism. And this is pretty much the number one recommendation. So we are going to dip in and watch this film today, aren't we? And eat our yummy berries. And that is our plan for the evening. Have you had a great day? I've had a great day. I've cut my hair and I've gone for a walk. So that's a good Saturday? Yeah. I'm, I'm happy pleased. for you. I'm happy for you. Yeah. Another good day in lockdown. Another day in lockdown. Not really too much lockdown. Well, that is actually we are. Lockdown-ish. Lockdown -ish. Lockdown ish Another day in lockdown-ish. So what do they need to do? If you like the video, then leave a comment, click like, and subscribe to the channel. Woo! -hoo -hoo! It's easy. It's so easy. It's the trifecta. How many likes do you need to get to this week, babe? How many likes did the last one get? Well, the goal, the goal was 20. Yeah. I think we got a few more than that. Okay. So what's the goal this week? 90. 90 likes. Guys, let's get to 90 likes. We need to, otherwise Ant is going to... What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Never be in a vlog again. Never be in a vlog again. Okay, Never fine. be in a vlog again. If we don't get to 90 likes, he will never be in a vlog again. I would quite and if like we get to, to 2,000 likes, then Zanny gets naked. No! <laughs> no! What? Only for you. No. <laughs> no. But if we do get to 90 likes, then he'll stay in the vlogs. Okay. And I would quite Deal. like that. All right, Deal. let's stop rambling now. We're going to go and we'll see you later, guys. Have a great evening. All right, bye.